Hello everyone, your boy back here again with another video for you all. Today we are doing the Noble Guardian achievement which will grant you the Noble title as well as count for your progress towards what a long strange trip it's been which will give you a Violet Proto Drake down the line. We got 8 achievements to do so we might as well get into it straight away. The first achievement we're doing is I found one. This is the easiest achievement that has ever been made in the game. You just need to find a brightly colored egg. You can find these around various towns in the starting zones, such as Goldshire in Elvin Forest for example. Around the town you can find various easter eggs, you just need to pick one up and you're done. When you open these eggs you will get the Noble Garden chocolates. These are used as a currency, but you can also eat them, which you will do for the next achievement. But also, very rarely you can get some of the items you will need for the achievements I will list ahead, such as spring robes, the tuxedo pants, the tuxedo shirt, etc. For the next achievement, Chocolaholic, you will need to eat 100 Noble Garden chocolates. You get these chocolates by opening the brightly colored eggs we found for the last achievement. My suggestion is to just find a spot and camp it. The eggs respawn very fast and you can farm the chocolates to your heart's content. Wait up until you get 100 eggs, open them, eat the chocolates and you're done. For the achievement Noble Garden, first thing you will need to do is find a Noble Garden vendor. They're in the same towns where you find the eggs. From the vendor you will want to buy a Noble Garden egg for 5 Noble Garden chocolates. Depending on if you're Horde or Alliance, you will have to hide a brightly colored egg in either Silvermoon or Stormwind. To do this, buy the egg and go into the city and just place the egg anywhere you like. The next achievement we're doing is Blushing Bride. From the vendor you will want to buy a white tuxedo shirt and black tuxedo pants which cost a total of 50 Noble Garden chocolates or 25 Noble Garden chocolates each. They are also sold on the auction house for a very low price so you might as well get it from there if you're too lazy. Now equip those and find someone who wears an elegant dress. It's a very bright pink dress that you will see very easily or just get a friend to wear it. The elegant dress costs 50 Noble Garden chocolates from the vendor but it can also be found on the auction house. Now just slash kiss your dress wearing friend and you're done. For the next achievement Spring Fling the first thing you will want to do is buy the Spring Rabbit from the Noble Garden vendor for 100 chocolates or you can get it on the auction house. Now you will just have to go to all four of your factions, towns in the starting zones such as Goldshire or Brill, Razor Hill etc. Now summon your rabbit and find someone who has a rabbit as well. Stand near them for a while and now the two rabbits will fall in love and hang out a bit but more importantly you will get your achievement. Shake your bunny maker. Yo is Playboy sponsoring this? Okay. For this achievement you will need to go to the Noble Garden vendor and buy the spring flowers for 50 Noble Garden chocolates. This will place bunny ears on people you use it on. You have a list of races you need to use it on and the players on who you use it on have to be at least level 20. So what I would recommend is that you just pop off to Oribos where the players zone in. You will find all the races here easily but the flowers have a cooldown of 5 minutes so just pop on some Netflix or something, maybe listen to some of my dope ass lore videos and you'll be alright. You can also do this in Battlegrounds or wherever else you like. The last two achievements Desert Rose and Hard Boiled will do together as they are pretty close by so that you don't have to make two trips. Go to the Noble Garden vendor and buy the spring robes for 50 Noble Garden chocolates and a blossoming branch for 10 Noble Garden chocolates. The spring robes allow you to plant a flower in the ground. For the desert rose achievement you will need to visit Desolus, Silithus, 
thousand needles, tanaris and the badlands and use the ropes to plant a flower in each of those zones. Now while you're planting flowers in tanaris or silitus, swing by the angora crater for the hard boiled achievement. For this achievement though, you will need a friend. So either bring someone with you or check the group finder. Have someone use their blossoming branch on you to turn you into a little teeny tiny bunny around Golaka hot springs in Ungora crater. Then just stand in the shallow waters until you lay an egg. Note that you have to stand in the waters so don't go off too far. Some people say they did it while swimming, some people said they did it on the shore while not even in the water at all, but standing in the shallow waters seems to be your safest bet. Now just wait until you lay an egg and when you do you will get the hard boiled achievement. You can also do this achievement solo by setting your hearthstone at Marshall stand in Ungora crater. After you do that go back to Stormwind or wherever you want, but I would advise Stormwind or Orgrimmar if you're Horde go to your little town, so Razor Hill or Goldshire, and loot random eggs until you get turned into a bunny. When you get turned into a bunny, use your hearthstone and you will go back to Angora Crater. Be careful though, because to get to Hot Springs you will go across many hostile mobs and if you go into combat you will lose your bunny mode. You also cannot mount up. Now use your blossoming branch on the friends who helped you out. Come on, be a good sport, okay? That will get you the hardboiled achievement, now you just do the rest of the zones you need for the desert throws, plant those flowers where you have to and you're done. All 8 achievements done. Now you are one step closer to the glorious Violet Brother Drake. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.